Kura dan Khan presents you a science and technology grade 5 lesson. Living things, specific learning outcomes. By the end of the substrand, the learner should be able to 1. Classify plants into flowering and unflowering. 2. Demonstrate precautions taken when handling harmful plants in the environment. 3. Specify the importance of flowering plants. 4. Develop interest in classifying plants. The new terms will be classification, which is the act or process of dividing plants into groups according to a given feature. Flowering plants, those are plants that produce flowers. And lastly, in unflowering plants, those are plants that do not produce flowers. Plants as living things classification of plants green plants are classified into flowering and non-flowering flowering plants are those plants that produce flowers non-flowering plants are those plants that do not produce flowers Examples of flowering plants 1. Hibiscus 2. Rose flower 3. Lantana camara 4. Echinacea 5. Groundnut 6. Beans 7. Maize 8. Banana Also we have purple, orange and many others. Examples of non-flowering plants 1. Fern 2. Pine 3. Cypress 4. Moss 5. Algae The above are examples of green non-flowering plants only. Safety precautions when handling harmful plants Some of the harmful plants in our environment include Sodom apple which has poisonous Tons, Mexican marigold which is poisonous and produces an odor, cactus which has poisonous thorns, wallflower which produces a juice which is poisonous, buckthorn which is also poisonous, euphobia which produces a juice which is poisonous. How can we handle these plants? 1. Always wear protective gears such as safety goggles which protects the eyes safety gloves which protects the hands safety boots which protects the feet dust coat or overall which keeps the clothes clean dust mask which protects the nose 2. use tools like forceps and tongs to handle plants and a magnifying lens forceps and tongs are used to turn over plants leaves Magnifying lens, also known as hand lens, is used to see small holes on leaves. 3. You should not touch any plant that you do not know. Some plants are poisonous. 4. Always wash hands thoroughly with soap and clean water after handling plants. In the video which is playing, we can see how to put on the protective wear. So, we start from the overall or the dust coat then we put on the gum boots or the safety boots from safety boots we put on the dust mask then goggles then if we have a cup we put on then lastly we put on the safety gloves is when we proceed to the activities on handling plants importance of flowering plants 
from the video which is playing we can see that we can eat from the roots of a plant from uh, the leaf from the fruits which are produced from the flowers also we eat from the stem some of the plants we eat their stem habitat we use timbers from plants to make houses animals like gazelle kangaroo buffalo live in the bush or in the forest and these forests are made of flowering plants. Birds of the air also build their nest on trees and flowering plants and this acts as their habitat. In summary, the importance of flowering plants are 1. They give us food, shade, timber, and medicine. 2. They make our environment look beautiful. 3. They provide animals with food. 4. They are home to some animals. Thank you for listening to my lesson. And from the substrand, the core competencies which are developed are communication. The learners can communicate as they classify flowering and non-flowering plants. Collaboration. Learners were grouped and this promoted teamwork. Digital literacy. The learners were involved in the usage of tablets in taking photos and this one enhanced digital, digital literacy. Uh, then self-efficacy learners learned that they should care for the environment the pertinent contemporary issues were environment conservation and disaster risk reduction and safety then values were respect and unity and responsibility the links to other learning areas were agriculture and religious education in agriculture we talked about plants in religious education we measured on valuing god's creation which are plants in the environment 
all the best from Kura Duncan.